channel, Susan Likes This and That. Today I'm going to do a thrift haul video from my second trip to Ye Old Thrift and Bargains and Blessings. This trip went better than the first one, breakfast wise. Um, I did not go to Burger King this time. I instead went straight to Wawa and I bought extra ice for my iced coffee this time because last time they gave me like no ice and it just melted so quick and it was kind of gross and warm. So but yeah, that's like my tradition. I go and get like breakfast when I go thrifting. So I went by myself again and just headed down there in the morning on a Friday and it was good um, for the most part, <laughs> but breakfast was good. So yeah, I got there. I got down to Lady. It takes me about 40 minutes to get there, which isn't too bad. So anyhow, I got there um, and everything's $2 in the bargains and blessings which is nice. And there's also a dollar room. When I go there, I go to the dollar room first. So anyhow, let me show you some things that I got. Um, came out of there, came home with um, two like huge garbage bags full of stuff. So here's the first thing I got, which I think is so pretty. This shirt is just like shimmery and soft and lightweight. I really like this shirt. Um, very cute. So when I first got to bargain some blessings, I went to the dollar room first, obviously. I think I got this in the dollar room. This is a nice 4X. And it's got the sleeve that you can roll up or read down. So I went to the dollar room first and got a few things. Um, got a nice um, jacket that I still have to wash. Um, but I got some cute, some cute shirts. I'll show you as I go what I think is from the dollar room. So anyhow, I went to the back of the store, which is where I usually start. This is my Sammy and Joe. Sammy and Joe always sells well for me. It has a really cute sleeve on it. And it's bouncy and has stretch, which I like. So I went to the back and started, you know, going through the rack. And there's a lady who was encroaching on my, you know, face. So I'm like facing, you know, the rack. I'm going this way, left to right. And she's coming right to left which there's like you know browsing etiquette you kind of like go this way together so you're not running against each other well anyhow you know I have looked at everything on this side so I'm going this way and she's coming this way and going through the stuff that I'm trying to look at and she was doing it on purpose I could tell got this in the dollar room this will do the row has the sleeve that you can button up Nice big size, bouncy and stretchy, really soft. Lularo is always very soft. So she's looking at me and I'm kind of like trying just to mind my own business, you know, do my thing and but stay on my ground. And usually like when I'm standing, I have my cart over here kind of pushed this way so people can't like encroach on me. Um, well, she was trying to move my cart. What is this? Oh, JM. This is a nice cute little shirt bouncy and stretchy really soft floral i'm just gonna love that so i just kind of moved my card a little bit out of her way ended up going around her um and then i ended up going to just a whole different area i went over to the plus size area it's kind of like small medium and large and it goes in order so i just said bump this i'm going to the plus size area and just looking over there so and she didn't follow me over there which was nice. Although I did see her when I went over to the second area of bargains and blessings, there's like a, um, clothes area. And then there's like a tchotchke, like, you know, knickknack type store, two different buildings. I started at the clothes area this time. Well, I got over there and lo and behold, she was right where I wanted to go, which is by the pots and pans. So Ruby road, really cute, really cute material. Um, Anyhow, she was there in my space. Got my light turned on now. I didn't have my light on before. So she was there right where I wanted to go down. I last time I wanted to go down the um pots and pans area because last time I was there I found a really nice um what's his name? A really nice pot. I can't think of who. Oh, what is his name? Um I can't think of it, but one of like the chefs on um, Food Channel, Coral Bay, 
try to pick up some sleeveless shirts and some solids this time because people were requesting sleeveless and solid. Um, so I found like a really nice pot there last time. So I know they had some nice stuff and the pot was only $2 retail. It was like 70 something dollars. Towel bits, sleeveless, pretty colors, $2. Everything was $2 in the first store. But she was looking for pots and stuff too, but she recognized me from the other store and gave me just like, she gave me like a little bit of a look, like I'm not moving. So I didn't even bother looking at the pots because she had already gone through everything. At that point, I just got aggravated, but before I left, when you watch the video, I do mention her. <laughs> I'm like, I'm trying to go by the pots. She's, you know, blah, blah, blah. And she saw me like videoing and she did not let like that. And I didn't care. I don't know this brand, but when I, I got this from the dollar room. I thought it was a romper when I grabbed it, but it's a skirt. Couldn't find any comps on it, but it's a really nice, like just sporty casual just pullover type skirt stretchy soft material thick material so that was a dollar has a pull string drawstring waist that was a buck and yeah, she saw me you know talking to y'all on my video she didn't know what i was doing if i was doing a phone call but she was like hmm like looking at me like oh and i'm like yeah i'm talking about you lady i'm talking about you styling company this needs to get steamed i thought it was really pretty so cute. Everybody's just a basic white or black shirt, t-shirt, blouse, and your wardrobe. And like a fancier one, like a nicer white or black shirt. So she didn't like that I was, you know, she knew I was talking about her and I didn't care. Dress barn. This needs to be steamed, but really cute. When it gets steamed, it's going to look 100% better. If you don't have a steamer, get one game changer to be able to steam your stuff love my steamer i got my steamer for twenty dollars off of poshmark and it was great i didn't use it for like six months after i got it <laughs> i was like i don't know why i didn't use it one world this sells great this will be in one of my shows lightweight bouncy so anyhow i was like you know what i don't have time for this i'm not in the mood for this there's nothing in this store that i want right now i already have a garbage bag full of stuff in my car so I'm out of here. And I'm like, I wanted to get ahead of her so she wouldn't. Because I'm like, I wonder if she's going to ye old thrift. And I'm like, I do not want to deal with her, this chick over there. So, and I never saw her over there. E L L E L E, really cute dots, polka dot circle, lightweight, really cute sleeveless. So I left there with my garbage bag full of stuff, which was great. I mean, and she never came over to the other store. She's lucky she didn't come over there because <laughs> I would not have been as patient as I was at the first door. I'd have been like, excuse me, do we have a problem? Like you go over there and I'll go over here. I probably would have said something just because that's just, yeah, my pro I problem I have is I don't want to say something. Yeah. How does this shirt go? Oh my gosh. I'm going to figure this out. Bongo Plus. Let me show you the tag. Bongo Plus. Let me try to show you the tag. Goodness. Bongo Plus, it crisscrosses. That's okay. No, I think I got it. All right, cute shirt, Bongo Plus. Here's the back. Long sleeve black. And this is like what you would say, like a fancier black tee or something to have in your wardrobe, black or white. So, Bargains and Blessings was a success. The people there are really nice. Um,. There's Michael by Michael Kors. This is lightweight and bouncy. I always try to find stuff that has like stretch and bounce because when I do my Poshmark shows, I always give a pit to pit um, loose, like without pulling, and I give a pit to pit pulling it to show them the difference, like pulling and not pulling um, for the larger sizes for the most part. I usually don't pick up leggings, but then the other day I had someone go, do you have any leggings? I'm like, um, not really. So I'll grab LuLaRoe. I haven't found any Lululemon yet. It's on my Bolo list, but these are cute. And I love just, LuLaRoe has just, it's so soft. I think they're made out of rayon or something, but very soft. So I just grabbed these. Um, and they're the um, TC, Tall and Curvy. So I grabbed those. So anyhow, went to um, 
the old thrift store, got there, it was fine. Um, got my little buggy. I always use the bathroom first when I get to each place because I don't want to leave my cart like out. I actually brought my cart, my little full buggy in with me last time to the bathroom. Like I don't care, I have to go and I'm not leaving it out here because it was stacked. And someone could just grab it and walk away. So how can you prove it was yours? Anyhow. So I saw the 50% off again for five dollar stuff. Well, I just assumed that, you know, stuff for three fifty like last time was fifty percent off also. It was not. I didn't find that out till I got up to the tax register. <laughs> what was fine. It was fine. This doesn't have a tag on it, but look how pretty this is. This is on the dollar rack at ye old ye old has a dollar rack of stuff that has no tags. And I looked this up in Compton, but I can't remember who it was, but it was a higher end brand. This will not go on the show. Um, what was this brand? I don't remember. I should have wrote it down, but it was a, it was a nicer, a nicer brand. I just, I'm not remembering. This was actually the very first shirt I grabbed. LuLaRoe. Pretty bright floor. I thought it was just pretty balance and stretch, which I like bigger size. So I grabbed that for two bucks. Why not? Um, so anyhow, the, uh, it wasn't 50% off the 350 stuff, but it was fine. Apartment nine, this is really pretty. Sheer, isn't that, isn't that pretty? Just nice and sheer. I like that, I might keep that for myself. I've kept a couple of things already. I've already worn a couple of things that I got. <laughs> um, and this also right here is, I show you in the video. This is a Torrid full length, new with tags. It's beautiful. Look how pretty that is. I got it for two fifty. Um, full length, flowy. Look at this thing. This is gorgeous. It was by the pajamas, fifty percent off rack. Like they thought it was a bath, like a bathrobe or something. And I looked at them like, hmm, it's not a bathrobe. That's not pajamas. That's like a nice long beautiful cardigan type cover flowy gorgeous thing so i just grabbed it and stuck it in my car i was like okay kim rogers really pretty flowy really just pretty little sleeves i just love the way this shirt just hangs isn't that pretty this is like a fancier you know white shirt is nice now that will sell quite very easily so i saw this and i i grabbed it and i was like yay me so that this alone when i sell it will pay for everything i bought um in that store that day i think i got this off the dollar rack i think i grabbed it because it was just very soft and bouncy and really just very very soft it's probably rayon I gotta stop buying gray. I always buy too many gray t-shirts. Too many gray t-shirts. All right, I'm gonna take a break for a second and restart the video or redo it. Yeah. Okay, so when I went to check out of ye old thrift store, I had a gift card. I had used a fifty dollar gift card at the first place at Bargains and Blessings that I got for my birthday. And it was fine and i actually went over like two dollars it was 52 dollars and they didn't have a minimum of what i could charge on my car but the lady's like hold on and she was like sip 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 beep, boop, boop, boop. and she's like it's 50 dollars." so she just took off the two dollars so i got a shirt for free and i didn't have to use my card for two dollars i used my gift card which was great so yeah this i just thought was kind of cute I tried to comp it like with Google Lens and it kept pulling it up as a man's shirt, but it's not. <laughs> it's like a cute shirt, but then it has this underneath, which I thought was really neat, attached. Like a neat little undershirt, shell type, tanky thingy. I couldn't find any comps that kept pulling it up as a men's shirt, but it's not. It's a cute, it's just a really cute shirt. So I'll have to put that in the show just to show it like to show what it looks like so i went to the you know check out at ye old and um bobby brooks and i had another gift card 
with $25 left on it. And so I'm checking out and using it and she zips it through and it was someone that they were kind of training, I could tell. And she zips it through and she's like, oh, I'm sorry, it's declined. I'm like, no. I'm like, there's $25 in there. She's like, no, it's declined. I, you know, don't, I'm sorry. I don't know what to tell you. I'm like, so I was a little angry. So I just walked out, went to my car, got my phone, went to the number on the back of the card, looked it up. It's like, oh, you, you just, we showed that it was just declined. And then it's like, but your balance is $25. I'm like, thank you. If you could just go on the phone and figure that out. So I uh, went back in. It's a cute shirt. Has balance and stretch. Bigger size, very soft. Someone's going to love that. So I went back in, went back to the same lady. I told her, she's like, well, I don't know. You know, it says, I don't know what to tell you. I'm like, she's well, what do you want me to do? Re-ring all your stuff up? I'm like, no, I want you to do your job and just know what to do with a gift card. <laughs> it's not up to me to sit here and figure it out for you. I didn't say that, but that's what I was thinking in a little bubble above my head. So she's like, well, let me get the manager. I'm like, please do. So she got, or she made me go get the manager, actually. So I got the manager, and she was kind of like, what? I'm like, she was kind of snippy, too. I said, I just checked out. My gift card works, blah, blah, blah. I kind of explained it to her. So she brought me around to the other side of the counter. I had my receipt. So she, it even took her a few minutes to figure out how to fix it. Anyhow, she canceled, put the money back. It was like $59. Put it back on my credit card. And then didn't re ring everything up but just redid the transaction with the gift card and then i paid the difference this was duh what they should have done to begin with um but they couldn't figure that out anyhow so it ended up only costing me 30 dollars there in sky this is a cute shirt it's got a little cute bottom to it there um so she figured it out the suck the manager figured it out she thanked me for my patience. I thanked her for figuring it out, blah, blah, blah. Left there. Um, only, so it's $30. But it's just like, come on, you know, day trip. Probably not going to put this in the show. There seems to be like a nice brand when I looked it up. So I'll probably list this one. It's really soft. I wouldn't have known this was a higher brand, but it, it was. Um, so I will, yeah, I'll list that. So I left ye old, not really aggravated. I'm just glad they figured it out. Um, well, I shouldn't have had to go through all that. They should have, she should have known what to do. It's just kind of, I don't know. Here's engraver. Another shirt with some bounce and stretch. Hmm, not just a, this is a large, yeah. Pretty one. I tried to find solids the best I could, but there wasn't a lot of cute solids. I found some sleeveless, but I couldn't find a lot of cute solids. Jacqueline Smith Sports. Oh, it's just got some little embellishments on it. And on the bottom. Cute little denim. This will sell easy. I'll put it in the show in my show, my Poshmark show. Um, so it was fine. I left with a lot of stuff. Still have more stuff to show you guys. <laughs> Left with a lot of stuff. Um, I was happy, you know. It was fine. They figured it out, and then it was just—it was fine. I did find some shoes also, and I did stop before I even went to Lady Lake because it was kind of on the way. I stopped at um, the store that I go to like once a week or so. It's a church thrift shop, and I found some stuff there. Let me show you the shoes that I found. I found these shoes, um, Lucky Brand shoes, at the Yield thrift store. I got these for three dollars, but Lucky Brand is a nice brand, and they were in good shape. So I grabbed those shoes, and I also found. I need to put my glasses on to see this on the bottom of the shoe. I could tell by looking at these shoes, they were like a nice. And there was a guy who was encroaching on me also at the shoe area. Um, San, Sanita, S A N I T A. Um, but I could tell these were nice higher end clogs. So I grabbed those and I've comped those, and they are 
very nice hiring. Um, so I got these at the church thrift store. Borelli. I don't usually grab a lot of men's shoes, but I kind of comped them when I was there. And these will probably be for like $45. I got them for three. I can tell like the nice stitched label on the bottom. And then at the church thrift store, I walked through the shoe area once. I was just talking to like a guy. He was asking me um, if there was like a thrift store around the area that we were in. And I was just kind of talking to him. And then I walked back through the, the, the shoe area, come out. And I was like, hmm, I've been looking for you know, Doc Martens for a while. And I looked down and I was like, those kind of look like Doc Martens. <laughs> And they were, and they were just sitting right there and for $4, they're in good shape. So I got my first pair of Doc Martens. These will definitely sell. I believe they're women's. Um, so I'm glad I walked back through that little area in the shoe spot because I found those. So that was great. <laughs> so I was happy with the shoes I found. I comped all of them and they're all good shoes. All right. Um, here's a few more things. This shirt I got, where did I get this shirt? Oh, somebody gave me the shirt. Yes, yeah, someone gave me the shirt. And Lily tried it on my daughter and she just said it was too long for her. My son's girlfriend gave me a bunch of stuff. So Lily gave me this to sell. So I took that and I'll sell that. Here's some more stuff from, um, this is stuff over here is all stuff I'm going to list for sure. A few things there I'm going to list. This is the for sure list, um, pile that I've already gone through. This is INC extra large and it's just really pretty. Everything's intact there. Has a little button around the neck. But this is a nicer brand. This will get listed. Oh, I love this. That will get listed. I have my mic like sitting over here. Hopefully, I don't want to stick it on my shirt. I was afraid it was going to knock it, but it's kind of over here. Hopefully, it's working. Um, Air in London. This is the very first thing I got um, when I was at uh, Bargains and Blessings. This was the first little thing I grabbed. It's like a little zip up jacket. It's really cute. Got some pockets in the front. So this will get listed. This will not go on the show. I don't put the higher end stuff in the shows just because Poshmark shows, people don't want to pay a lot when you're in the show. And I don't sell my stuff. Like I've told you guys before, nothing in my show is going to be $3. Um, Sharagano, Sharagano. This needs to be steamed, but it's really pretty. I looked it up. The really cute sleeves. Isn't that cute? And this is definitely a nicer brand. So I will steam this up and it will look amazing. Photograph it, list it. Um, I do need to do a steam video, like a chatty steam video. So, and yeah, my son's girlfriend gave me some stuff. Raffaella. Some nice. This is very soft. The shirt, very soft. So all the stuff will get listed. So if you're not on Poshmark yet, like I've told you guys before, start with your own closet. You know what you have in your own closet. This is my closet. I'm in my closet. Um, start with what you have. This is Harper, two forty one. Very cute shirt. Sheer sleeves. Um, so start with what's in your own closet. You can go on Poshmark. It doesn't cost anything to join, you know, or, or to start an account. Um, they just, when you sell stuff, they get a certain percentage. I think under $12, if you sell something, it's like two ninety seven dollars per whatever. And then if it's bigger than that or more money than that, I think it's less. I don't know. I usually don't sell anything that's over like $15, $25. World market. This doesn't always... Cloth. No, this doesn't always sell super high, but this one here 
did because it's just long and flowy. So this particular top is a nicer world market. I'm tempted to keep it for myself. I'm tempted to take it on vacation with me this weekend. So we'll think about that. Um, Cause I'm in Florida and we're going to Orlando and it's gonna be hot. It's gonna be triple digits. Um, yeah. Yeah, Wonder, Wonder, is that Wonder Lee or Wonder Buy? I think it's Wonder Lee. Wonder Lee. But this is a really cute shirt. Very flowy and bouncy and soft. This, I wasn't sure if I was going to list or not. Some more Reese's. Three. Which I think is a vanity size, but these kind of knits just makes me nervous. Like this beginning a pull. I don't really see anything on it. Flaw wise, like a pull in it. It's really pretty. Um, it'll probably get listed. I just don't buy anything like this for myself, just for fear of getting like a, once you get like a pull in it, pretty much a wrap, unless you have some kind of secret, you know how to fix it. Um, so yeah, this was on the dollar rack, Mine West Large, it's just a basic turtleneck, nice sweater, chunky turtleneck, but I'm like for a dollar. It's nice that will get that will get listed for sure <laughs>